Let's look at so I want to look at the next section because it's really important. The majority of you have believed in reincarnation, right? At some point. Let's look at the reasons why you did and explain them from a point of view of what's actually happening. So, can you see that in the next section? Mm -hmm. Would you like to read the first one out? Children speaking wisdom from old, remembering past life experience or initiating, mm -hmm. imitating, imitating dead relatives. So, how many of you have had that experience with your own children? Some of you? Yeah. How many of you have been in that position yourself? Where, you know, you've felt like all of a sudden this wonderful wisdom just comes out of your mouth and you go, whoa, where did that come from? And you go to a psychic and she says, oh, it comes from your soul. In a previous life you learnt that truth. What's actually happening? Here's the spirit world. Here's you. You have a guide. Many of you have guides on the, net, on the divine love path. So you have guides up in the spirit world in one of the spheres guiding you. Whenever they can connect to you, they will give you whatever they can give you, if you're open to it. When are you most open? When you're a child. This is why children in particular have lots of wisdom coming through them, because their guide is actually helping that entire process. Now, sometimes it's not wisdom coming through them. It's actually harmful habits or experiences. And that's because sometimes, and in many cases, there is a darker spirit in the first sphere, usually a relative of some kind, or a person who's frightening the child, and also trying to influence the child. What do they get out of doing that? And if they're making them afraid, a lot of times joy. They feel joy. They feel a feeling of, isn't it great? In reality, they're very powerless, and the only people that they have power over is a child who's easily influenced. And of course, none of this would happen if the parents were in a good condition emotionally. Say, mum and dad were in a good condition emotionally. They would protect the child. Their, their, the protection surrounding them would protect the child, and the child wouldn't have those influences. But the problem is, of course, that most parents are not in good condition emotionally. And so what do they do? There's no protection of the child, and the only person who can protect the child is God and this guide or the guardians that are with the child, and they do the best they can given the circumstances, but there are often these negative influences allowed by the environment. So, when a child receives actual information like the wisdom, they are usually getting it from their guide. All children are mediumistic. All children are mediumistic. So therefore, all children have this capability of seeing spirits. Many of them have imaginary friends, you call them. They don't call them imaginary, they call them friends, right? Now, how many of you even have had this all your life, where you've connected with spirits or known about connections with spirits? It's quite a lot of you, right? Yeah. How many of you turned it off, or you can't even remember when you ever had it? Most of the time, the damage by the environment is so great that even in a few years, by the time we even have a mind where we can remember these events, we've already got the emotion that prevents them from occurring. Just, JJ, just let me explain the three little girls of Fatima, the three little kids in Fatima and Spain. They're all heavily influenced by spirits of different types. And you can tell the type of spirit by what the person is saying. So many are Catholic type spirits nowadays influencing different children that are Catholic and because there's that environment in the parents that allow that, of course that, that goes on. In India it happens all the time. You've got young children even not, not eating for years because they're so overcloaked by a spirit that they don't need to eat anymore. Right? Things like that. Constant, this is constantly happening. Right? And we go, wow, isn't that amazing? <laughs> in reality, it's just this natural laws totally at work all the time. 